Shalom, Shalom. Rabaka Shah Salakia. You know, my storage cut out. It's Satan doing his job. So it ended the recording. So I'm back. And yep, yeah, I left off right here because, hey, you know, they're talking about power outages. All right. And, you know, it's going to have, you know, a tremendous impact through the summer, if it happens through then, you know, or through winter, or even right up until that time. So it reads, a summer of blackouts wheezing power grid leaves states at risk. All right. It goes on to read, the nation's power grid is under stress like never before, with regulators warning that the kind of rolling outages that are now familiar to California and Texas could be far more widespread as hot summer weather arrives. All right, you know, and best believe, you know, it won't just be limited to Babylon the Great alone. You know, there's, there'll be power outages the world over. Uh, let's see, uh, I'll skip down to this paragraph right here. While America's power grid has been showing signs of distress for years, the sudden warnings of Sir surprised even those who were sounding an alarm that's because extreme weather precipitated by climate change and the early retirement of fossil fuel plants has accelerated the destabilization of the grid <laughs> a fragile collection of transfer stations and tr transmission lines already challenged by a lack of investment all right no and the economy in america is going down circling the drain anyway okay so <laughs> You know, when they say peace and safety, then sudden destructions, sudden destruction. You know, it's you can't stop it. All right. So, Second Edges, chapter two, verse twenty-seven: Be not wary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful. Right. You know. People are going to be bugging out. You know, they're going to be wondering where they're going to get <laughs> the necessities from. You know, the food, electricity shortages as it is. All right. And, hey, you know, Lord willing, it happens this year. For, uh, and it reads... But thou shalt be merry and have abundance, right? You know, we're not put off by this. Really, this is actually a faith booster. Because we see, you know, that these things are coming to pass and it's all leading to the, uh, the mandatory implant implantation of the uh, Karagma. All things lead to that. Because before World War Three takes place, the haragma must be made mandatory. All right. Here's another article. <laughs> and it's from the New York Post, June the 4th this year, 2022. California court rules bees and now fish. Now Ian is <laughs> a mad scientist, man. So I wonder where we're going to get our honey from. <laughs> <laughs> in an in an only in California decision, an appeals court in the Golden State has ruled that some type of bees are now legally considered to be fish. Now, <laughs> bees, a bees and fish are fish. All right. You know, and he likes to cross contaminate animals and different species. You know. And it's <laughs> If you can't see that this man's a devil by now, I don't know what to tell you. You know, I don't... <laughs> it reversed a, low, a lower court's ruling in favour of agriculture interests to argue the state's endangered species act protected only birds, mammals, fish, amphibians, reptiles and plants, not bees or other bugs. You know, and... <laughs> Majority of these, you know, animals and other species are 
endangered or extinct. Because this man has polluted the whole earth. Rainfor the Amazon rainforest. Destruction right there. Pollution in the water. Holes in the ozone layer. Spraying, spraying pesticides everywhere. And speaking of pesticides, look at this article from News Punch. You know, this was 23 hours ago. You know, so very recent article, and it says Spain admits spraying deadly chemtrails as part of secret UN program to fight. <laughs> you know, the you know what. The Spanish government ordered the military to quietly spray lethal chemtrails on its citizens. All right, and that's that's that detrimental to your health. All right. Job nine and twenty four. This is. The, you're breathing all these things in, and it's a killer. The chemtrail program, which involves the spraying of biocides on the population, all right. So the, so this is deliberate, all right, to lower the, to depopulate the earth. Right, was authorized by a royal decree. Was quietly acknowledged by the government on April 16, two years ago, April 16, 2020. You see, so while this whole scam dem it was carrying on. <laughs> you know, they were quietly doing things like this behind the scenes. Alright. You know, given the month that we're in, here's another article. And it reads Alphabet Christian Artist releases World's Alphabet Worship Song. Will it go mainstream in churches? You know. And this, <laughs> this is just pure, not a madness. You know, you really shouldn't even be in these churches at all. They don't have the truth. You know, this is why the Lord has to come back. Semla is a, you know what, artist and is a newcomer to the Christian music scene, gaining some publicity after a profanity laced album briefly the top spot. On iTunes, Christian and Gospel Charts. <laughs> Her real name is Grace Semler Baldridge. She's a butch alphabet who's married, now divorced, to a woman while purposefully altering her appearance to look like a man, giving the impression she's about one upper chest surgery from becoming <laughs> transformed. She's not a Christian, even a little bit, despite, despite seeking to be seen as such. Because that she's not even a Christian. But she thinks she's... <laughs> you know, this this place is just madness. Alright? But what do you expect? It's Pride Month. Alright? It's Ecclesiasticus. Also known as the Book of Syrac. Uh Chapter 9... If I remember, Chapter 19... Verse 5, Whoso taketh pleasure in wickedness shall be condemned, but he that resisteth pleasures crowneth his life, right? You know, they brag. <laughs> you know, he brags about wickedness. Puts it in your face. And ultimately, the pleasures of this world is wickedness anyway. Alright? Because again, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. And in order for you to be, you know, quote unquote successful, you got to sell out. All right. You know. And then these things, you know, looked upon as, <laughs> as so-called progress in the world. And have you led to believe that you're making it? Look at this. Alright. This is just evil right here. You know, a lot of you women, man. Hey. You know, heavy judgment is coming for you. Alright. Now, this is 
the website blackenterprise.com article from 16 hours ago and it says Fort Worth woman charged for throwing boyfriend's mother's ashes into lake and that's just wickedness beyond measure a Texas woman was arrested and charged with abuse of a corpse two years after she threw her ex-boyfriend's mother's lake into Lake uh, Worth Augustine Gladney thought he dumped the ashes that belonged to a 30 year old Ernest Smith mother in the lake of 20 in 2020 all right, so this happened two years ago, charged with the crime on May 4th. All right, in Texas, abuse of a corpse is class A misdemeanor that carries a 4K, uh, $4,000 fine, and up to a year in prison. You see? And just further proof why, you know, this Babylon has to get destroyed. All right, and this system, and this uh, system, this world system, they follow after Babylon. The scriptures say, you know, no, let me just get the precepts. I believe it's that's right. Revelation eighteen, verse one. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power. And the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon, the great is fallen, is fallen, and is become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. Here's the point. For all nations, all right, have drunk of the wine, you know, that's spiritual wine, you know, going into its, you know, philosophies, you know, the ideologies of it, of Babylon the great. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. All right, and the merchants of the earth have waxed rich through the abundance of, abundance of her delicacies. Okay. You know, so you know various dealings that America has done with these other, you know, various nations that are here that America has done with these other, that we with these uh you know dealings. All right. And plus the you know the American commerce. At one point, you know, we're strong. All right. It's got military bases. You know, pretty much in nearly every country across the, the world. All right. As you know. And, you know, it says the kings of the earth. All right. So all these governments amongst these other nations, at one point... You know, they had to, you know, lean on America, so to speak, so they could, you know, be in a sort of a comfortable place so they can, you know, be where they at least like to be. But now these nations, all right, they don't, they're, they're turning against her, they don't need her. Gone to bed with the horn, now <laughs> they're putting her away. You know, these nations, and now it's, you know, let the weak say I'm strong. You know, they're done with America, all right? All right, uh, back to Second Edris, uh, chapter 2, verse 29. Oh, verse 28. The heathen shall envy thee, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee, saith the Lord. Right. You know, you know, you're not going to be doing it. You can't be doing anything to, you know, to the prophets. Or even just to, you know, thwart what's coming to America and to the whole world. All right. <laughs> because only the elect are making it out of America. You know, you heathen and you two birds dwelling there, you just miss our food. All right. Then again, there's nothing you can do to stop the inevitable judgment of the Lord, Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Verse twenty nine: My hands shall cover thee, all right, so that my thy children shall not see hell. Right, you know, and, and you know, Adam and Razai, if you you know part of the elect, 
You know, the Lord will cover your household. All right. You know, if you put the Lord first, you know, you, you'll eat, you service, you know. And, you know, your children will eat too. Your household will be, will be protected. Okay. It's going to close out on uh, this last verse. This is the prayer of Azariah, chapter 1, verse 20. Deliver us also according to thy marvellous works, and give glory to thy name, O Lord, and let all them that do thy servants be ashamed, that do thy servants be ashamed, and let them be confounded in all their power and might, and let their strength be broken, and let them know that thou art the Most High, the only power and glorious over the whole world. All right? You know, you're not going to prevail over the prophets, over the prophecies, okay? And you elites in your bunkers, all right, that you have in these other countries. You know, the Lord's going to send for many <laughs> hunters to get you out of there, and you're going straight into slavery, all right? No, so with that, I pray this was edifying. Again, double honours to the apostles, the great millstone, who rule well, teach us this 100% truth. Alright. And uh, shalom to the elect, on to the next one, shalom.